keeping paths up open also means giving Singaporeans possibilities to improve themselves throughout their lives. So we need to strengthen CET, Continuing Education and Training, as Dr. Amy Kaur and others describe. We just opened the Devon Nair Institute for Employment and Employability on May Day. It's in Jurong East. It's a beautiful institute. It's a one-stop shop for CET, with training providers, classrooms, career counsellors, all under one roof. And the unions are also working with employers to conduct courses there. So, for example, they've got a tripartite nautical training award for students who want to get nautical qualifications and become sea officers. And it's at the E2I's Wavelink Maritime Institute. It's a most impressive facility, and the most impressive thing about it is that these are students with a passion who have decided that they want to learn to become nautical officers and who are making the effort to make the grade with help from the unions and from the government. I met many other trainees there too who were learning new skills. Some had already graduated and had found better paying jobs. And I was very happy that they could seize new opportunities even mid-career. That's the first CET Institute. We're building a second one, which is the Lifelong Learning Institute in Paya Lebar later this year. So there'll be many more opportunities for everyone to pick up and to sharpen their skills. And that's important not just for rank and file workers, but also for PMEs. Mr. Patrick Day spoke passionately about helping PMEs to cultivate a second skill or to deepen their expertise. And the government will support them together with the employers. But it's not just about the training opportunities, it's really about the whole culture, the whole framework of how people work, study, upgrade, attend courses, are able to change careers and go into second, maybe even third careers in their working lives. And you need many more pathways to lead fulfilling lives so that one's whole future career is not fixed forever by the time you have left school, depending on how you did in school. What you did in school matters. Every teacher will tell you that. But it should not be the last word on your life. And that's why we set up the Aspire Committee under Ms. Indrani Raja. And Ms. Indrani spoke about this on Monday. And come the National Day Rally, I hope we'll have something more to say about this.